When we look at project-based assessment or just project-based learning, you can put that there too, um, this can be used in a variety of different ways. In our class, a lot of times we use the projects to reinforce the concepts that they've already learned. So they had the content delivered to them via video, and then they've gone through the reinforcement activities, and now they're going to move on to a project. And a lot of times the projects even come after the, the formative assessment quizzes so that we know that they have a pretty good working knowledge. So we're going to take their knowledge and then try to ramp it up a little bit with these projects. We can also use the projects to make connection between concepts, and a lot of times that's what we do. For example, in biology, we'll use a, con we'll use a project to connect photosynthesis with cellular respiration. So they've learned both those concepts, and then they're going to tie them together in this project. It gives them a chance to be creative and to show um, links between concepts and that they know what those links are through a creative manner. Projects are also used as assessments. We can look at their projects and assess how well they know the content by the way that they create the project that they're creating. And there are all manner of ways to do these projects, but we want them to be creative. And another uh, thing that we want them to do is we want to give them options. So you want to have project options. It's not one size fit, fits all. and so we want to give them different ways of being creative. We want to kind of stay away from the old you make a PowerPoint, make a keynote presentation, and do something a little bit more outside of the box. So maybe they're going to make a movie. Um, maybe they're going to compose a song. Maybe they are going to do some kind of animation through a, um, a website, such as GoAnimate. Um, or... Maybe they're even going to use the, the program that I'm using right now where they're going to do a more of an interactive whiteboard presentation um, with their speaking voice and adding in pictures. So whatever it is, we're trying to um, promote, in this case, that well, what is the content that you know, and we want you to be a creator when telling us that.